Hi, I'm Caitlin, and welcome to video 7 of the Quick Start series for the Analog Discovery 2. In this video, we'll go over the Network Analyzer tool. Oftentimes, when we're building circuits, we need to determine how our circuit will respond to various types of inputs. This is especially true when working with energy storage elements such as inductors and capacitors. Before Network Analyzers, this required taking measurements and plotting data over and over again, often for hours. By using the Network Analyzer tool on the Analog Discovery 2, you can determine how your circuit will respond to various types of inputs. We can access the network analyzer from the yellow wire for waveform generator 1, the orange wire for the oscilloscope channel 1, and the blue wire for oscilloscope channel 2. You'll need to connect the input to your circuit to both the waveform generator and channel 1 of the oscilloscope. And you'll need to connect the output of your circuit to the blue wires for oscilloscope channel 2. We can access the network analyzer from the network button in the navigation bar. On the menu bar, you have File, Control, View, and Window. File allows you to create a new Network Analyzer project, open an existing configuration, save the current configuration, export the data, and close the window. The data can be exported as an image or as a CSV, text, or TDMS file. You can also add a device time and date stamp for originality of work. Control gives you access to run a single sweep, continuously sweep, or stop the sweep. View allows you to view the signals in the time domain, create a Nichols or Nyquist plot, or drop cursors. You can also drop cursors from the X symbol in the bottom left of the window. Below the menu bar are several dropdowns and buttons. The single button lets you run a single sweep, and run will start sweeping until you hit stop. Scale allows you to select whether you'd like a logarithmic or linear scale, and start and stop defines the X axis of the plot. You can also choose the number of samples to take. Remember, the more samples you take, the longer it will take to run. On the right-hand side, there are two options for the waveform generator. Magnitude, Phase, Custom 1, Custom 2, Channel 1, Channel 2, and any additional channels you may want to add. The waveform generator supplies the input to the network analyzer, so if you change the wavegen settings, you're changing the input to your circuit under test. You can adjust the offset, amplitude, channel, settle, minimum period, and change to extended frequency mode. The amplitude can be set to any value between 10 millivolts and 5 volts, and the offset can be any value between negative and positive 5 volts. The magnitude settings change the y-axis of your magnitude response plot. You can change the units and define where the top of the plot starts and the range. You can enter any value between 100 decibels and negative 100 decibels for the top, and any value between 1 and 200 decibels into the range. The phase box controls the y-axis of the phase response plot. You can change the range of the plot and the offset, which is where the middle is. The offset can be set to any value between negative and positive 180 degrees, and the range can be set to any value between 0 and 360 degrees. Custom 1 and Custom 2 allow you to create custom graphs based on JavaScript functions. There are examples included in the editor to help you get started. You can also add additional instances of Channel 1 and 2 to use as references. Lastly, you have the settings for Channel 1 and Channel 2. The offset and gain are automatically set by waveforms, but you can edit them if need be. The offset can be any value between positive and negative 25 volts, and the gain can be anything from 0 .001 to 1000 times. If you click on the gear in any of the channels, you can also adjust the color, attenuation, range, name, and label on the channel, or export the data. The last settings are the plot settings. You can access these by clicking on the small gear on the top right hand side of the plot. You can add labels to the plot, change your measurement tool, change the color of the plot, and change the plot width. Now that we've gone through the settings, it's time for an example. To demonstrate the network analyzer, I'll need a basic circuit. I'll use a first order passive low pass RC filter. We'll use a 1 microfarad capacitor and a 1 kilo ohm resistor to build our circuit. We'll connect the positive side of channel 1 to waveform generator 1. We'll connect the positive side of channel 2 to where the resistor and capacitor meet. And we'll connect the negative side of channel 1 and 2 and a ground wire to the negative lead of the capacitor. With everything connected, click Run on the top of the window. Since the settings don't quite fit our circuit, we'll need to adjust those. Enter 10 Hz in the start box and 100 kHz in the stop box. Now we can see all the data we need, 
but we can make it a bit clearer. Enter 10 decibels into the top and 50 into range of the magnitude box. Then enter negative 45 in the offset and 90 into the range of the phase box. In the amplitude response window, you can see the clear low pass behavior as the frequency increases, the gain drops. Now let's use the cursors to learn more about our circuit. If you click on the small x at the bottom left corner of the network analyzer window, a cursor will appear on the graph. Click on the small x at the bottom of the red line to drag the cursor to 160 Hz. Labels will appear on the plots showing the magnitude and phase values at that frequency. Notice that at 160 Hz, the magnitude of the output has dropped 3 dB below the maximum. This is the cutoff frequency of our circuit. It's also where we achieve an ideal phase shift of negative 45 or very near to that. After that, the slope appears to decrease at a very nearly linear slope. If we open the cursor window, we can demonstrate that the slope drops 20 dB every decade. Now you know some of the basic functionality of the network analyzer. Our next video will cover the spectrum analyzer. Please subscribe to stay up to date with Digilance products and services. Thanks for watching.